Hello Scorpios, this is a reading for you guys for the 23rd through the 31st, the end of the month. This video, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. It is a love reading and cards are flying out. So, oh God, and turning over, a lot of something going on. Um, there's a sun here, Leo energy. I feel like there's some ego. There's this feeling of um, wanting to be happy and happy and doing whatever it takes to be happy. That's that energy that I'm feeling um, that's coming from you guys here. And then we'll start with these one by one. We have the Three of Swords. You've experienced a lot of heartbreak, a lot of disappointment with someone. This Three of Swords energy is Libra's energy. Um, feeling like, you know, you've had your heart broken. I do feel like there's there's this, this want or desire to overcome something with a person. To put something behind you. But there's 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 like this cloudiness, this this muddled feeling of like there's too much that's going on or too much that has gone on even. Then we have the Ace of Wands, which is at the center of your reading, this feeling of wanting to start over. Let's start anew. Let's let's put certain things behind us so we can like move forward. And the Knight of Coins, taking things slow, really trying to figure out what is best for you, what is best for them, uh, and not trying to do things too fast or get ahead of yourself, but really having a solid plan in motion. Here with this Knight of Coins, um, this is like Taurus energy here. And then we have the Hanging Man. This energy is one where you just kind of take your hands off of things and let whatever be, whatever's going to happen, just let it happen naturally without you having anything to do with it. That's that Piscean energy. I do feel like some things have changed with the person. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on one second. Some things have changed with the person and um, you feel like, oh my God. Hang on one second. <clears throat> oh my God. So all of a sudden, I felt like um, something was biting the shit out of me on my back. Um, so, you know, instantly I feel like <laughs> somebody feels like they've been stabbed in the back. Or somebody feels like somebody does not have their back. Something like that. Whether you feel like that or the other person feels like that. Very kind of weird sensation all of a sudden. Um, and so with that feeling of either being stabbed in the back or somebody not having their back, then somebody feels like they have done enough and they're not really doing anything else. Okay. This is basically not waiting for the universe to decide, but waiting on the other person really to make a move because you feel like you've done enough. Somebody feels like they've done enough here. Okay. So let's see what else we get for you guys. <clears throat> but I definitely see that somebody wants to start over. They want to take things slow. Um, it's almost like, you know, I will if you will. That type of deal. Then we have the Four of Cups. Hmm. Wanting that love from one particular person and um, really kind of ignoring, you know, outside influences. Don't don't want to party. Don't want to go out. Just really kind of expecting that um, that emotion from one person in particular. Hmm. That's Cancer energy there. And then we have the Lovers under the three of swords that gemini energy you know you guys showed up in libra's reading so i'm i'm really feeling like a lot of you guys have a libra that is significant to you 
but um, this is somebody that you feel like broke your heart somebody that you love but there's some sort of accountability I feel like you feel in this situation as well or there's something that you feel like you you know the truth about you still love this person but I feel like you guys are ignoring somebody there's this feeling of, of being ignored here then we have a king of wands there that fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius energy Hmm. Somebody's taking the reins here. Or wanting to take the reins. Wanting to start over. Um, this is also something dealing with um, some sort of business venture for some of you. Being self-employed. Or either um, being, being high up in some sort of business where you have like people under you have employees under you <clears throat> and then the knight of cups there hmm. there's this feeling of needing to tame yourself because the knight of coins and the knight of cups they're opposites okay <laughs> They're like polar opposites. The Knight of Coins moves very slow, very methodically. The Knight of Cups, they are basically like, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's go out to eat. Oh, I have a gift for you. Um, just kind of like <laughs> smothering almost. But the Knight of Cups can also the next day act like they can't stand your freaking guts. So there, you know, it's two different types of energy here. Hmm. So I feel like you guys are just don't really know what to do at this point. You really don't. I feel you are tired. Um... This is the Nine of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy. You're tired, but you still are considering whether or not you want to move forward with someone. Because you do love somebody. There's there's somebody that you have like an enormous amount of feelings for. Very codependent relationship here. Um, there is some toxic energy there with that Capricorn energy. And then the page of wands, they're very flirtatious, uh, still being interested, this feeling of not being able to totally separate yourself from someone. And it's something that you really can't explain, um, but you have a lot of love for somebody and somebody loves you too. I can definitely feel that energy. I'm feeling like, you know, you don't really want to. I see you wanting to be happy and do what it takes to be happy. But at the same time, I see you like, you know, just really trying to ignore someone here. This love relationship has really got you guys kind of topsy-turvy. Um, a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of disappointment here. But this feeling of wanting to start over, wanting to take your time one minute, but feeling like, oh my God, I need to get them back the next minute. And then like, well, I'm just going to see what they do with this hanged man energy. I'm going to see what they do because I'm really kind of tired of, you know, putting in all my effort with this person and not seeing a return on it or not wanting to be disappointed or feel rejected or whatever still feeling very drawn and attracted to this person okay that page of wands is like you know you're still interested you're still wanting to like uh, communicate with this person but there's, there's something here that's really not working for you guys. Toxic situation, I feel. 
Sometimes you can have two really good people, but they may not be like so good together unless they can work through some of their issues. So I do see that type of energy here like this, this, um, there can be a lot of anger. There can be a lot of like ignoring the other person. A lot of in and out energy. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.